Hello friends, in this video we are going to solve one of the most common challenge faced by teachers and professors of schools and institutes. How to distribute desserts or marks efficiently and privately. By the end of this video, you will have one automated free method to do so and that too with the utmost precision and privacy. So let's get started. The very first step is you need to go to Google Sheets and the only requirement to use this particular method is you must have one active Gmail ID. So now you need to sign in to Google Sheets with your Gmail ID and once you do so you will be able to see this online spreadsheet right this is kind of excel formerly known as google sheet and here you need to put your result but in a particular template which i'm going to show you next the let's try to understand what this particular method is going to do first and then we'll see how it's going to do it so the idea is the template is quite simple uh, it contains only three fields email id name and marks so the idea is we are going to send unlike uh, the traditional setup where we are going to announce marks in the classroom or put the result on the notice board what we are going to do is we are going to send personalized emails to students so corresponding marks will of students will be only sent to the corresponding email ids of the underlying students so this will ensure privacy so the idea is student a won't have access of email id of student b so this will ensure the privacy aspect and the process is quite fast just by clicking on one button you will be able to accomplish this so that way it's a uh, efficient also so let me demonstrate this to you first i'm assuming you have this email id as well as name and marks and now what we are going to do next is you need to go to this extensions and here the third field is app script you need to click on this app script and this script has been provided as the very first comment of this uh, video so you can use it and the only thing right uh, after you paste this particular script uh, over here is you need to click on this particular run button and then automatically the marks will be sent to the corresponding students of course you need to do some personalization because here the subject is different because i'm teaching this python programming so it's written over there so you need to modify it you, you can also change the message right and apart from that almost everything else will remain as it is so let me demonstrate this to you first so i'm clicking on this particular run button and uh, the speed of this is kind of uh, around four to five emails per second so it will take around 10 to 20 seconds uh, to complete or because i am having around 80 students so it will take around i guess 20 seconds to uh, send emails to all the students in one shot so as you can see uh, it's very fast and the process has been completed right by uh, in just around uh, 14 seconds itself and let me see let, let me let me go to my sent emails and let me see whether the students have received marks or not so let let me let me check so as you can see that right, the messages messages are appearing right so for example as you can see name of the student and midterm marks and along with this particular personalized title of email and this is happening right for all the students right as you can see right so as you can see right so this is the power of this particular method so the key aspect of this particular code is uh, you have to ensure that only one sheet is active uh, whenever you are using this particular method and that active sheet is nothing but your results so as you can see on line number two we, we are get uh, this particular uh, method of, is taking data from active spreadsheet so this we have to ensure and this lines line number four or three to six is basically nothing but capturing the data from the entire spreadsheet and we are starting from row number two which is obvious because the first row is nothing but header and before you click on that particular run button uh, ensure that you have changed the subject line as well as you should personalize your message right? so you have to change this details right and then uh, you can uh, use this particular method i hope this video helped you don't forget to like, subscribe and provide your feedback in the comments. Thank you.